Okay guys, absolute insanity around here. We just let this snake go, right over there, right? You guys remember him probably from my previous video and stuff? As we're walking, we get 20 feet away. Monster truck here goes, whoa, rough green snake. And you can see he's got a beautiful big one. And this one was quick too, it was like that coach whip. It started sliding through the trees and uh, I jumped in and got it. And then the first thing I did was of course I ran back and grabbed this guy because I'm like, man, this is crazy, look at this sun. Look at this. So we'll check out this guy and uh, we'll see what all's going on with him. Nice find, son. So we were actually, you know, just gonna be getting rid of this guy. We detained him for a couple days for, you know, a little bit of photo shoots quick and uh, make a little bit of video just to make sure he was cool. And, uh, you know, then this boy just finds this one right before we released this. So we had just released the, uh, the racer, which of course we just caught. And then he found this one and it's just kind of cool to see some of the size difference when you start off with the baby one and something that's fresh, just kind of brand new and fresh, uh, you know, this, this new year, new life. And then you look at one of the big ones. Now, most of the big ones we've seen down here have actually been on our land, which is really exciting for us. Unfortunately, you know, guinea fowls, chickens, Muscovy ducks, they're gonna eat little baby ones like this. They would even probably tear up one like that depending on the bird. So we definitely want to keep them kind of away from the poultry over there, but we don't mind them around our garden. We don't mind them on our property. They're a, they're a nice, Nice snake, I mean, you know, it's not biting him. Now there are venomous snakes that look similar to this around the world, but here the rough green snake is super cool. Um, the smooth green snakes we used to have in Wisconsin were really hard to come by because they fed almost uh, entirely on insects. And with all the insecticides and pesticides, a lot of them were dying. Their population was being incredibly reduced. So you definitely wouldn't find as many, you know, now at my age as when I was his age. And they were more of a terrestrial one that stay on the ground. You could find them at different places. And sometimes you'd find a good concentration of them. We'll see if I can find someone I had up there next time. But to have these rough green snakes here, you know, they're one of the ones that always fascinated me as a kid. Green's my favorite color. You look at them, they're climbing around the trees, they're doing their thing. They're just a striking, beautiful snake. And not, you know, striking like getting bit in the face. Like that's actually a snake right on my forehead. And, ah! But yeah, very cool snake. What do you think about that one there? Oh yeah, he got one of those pinkies. So just, uh, let's get a close up of that guy. Oh yeah. He's pretty chill with you, son. I like that blue on his scale thing. So if you compare, again, that guy there to this tiny guy here. Big difference, isn't there, son? Oops, you got him? Oh, nope. Oh, he's so quick. Look at that little guy. That's, that's chicken food if we aren't careful. Ooh, careful little guy, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you, so. Um, definitely see the size difference. See that beautiful color on the belly too, heading from the white, kind of down into almost a kind of a, a cream color with some hint of yellow. And then here's the vent, so everything after this is actually tail. And they've got a good grip. Would you let go of the big snake? You know, it's just got one loop coiled on my hand there. And it's dangling from that. So, all that power to bring it back up on top. Very cool snake. Very cool. Oh, I like how... This reminds me of the one you caught over by the poultry kids, where it was just kind of peeking over the top, mm -hmm. looking at us. That's what this guy's doing right now. Oh. I want to let your baby one go somewhere safe, maybe up by the garden, huh? Yeah. Uh, ah, you got me a finger. Good eye. Good job finding them. Yeah, let's see those heads by each other. Nice and still. Very cool. Man. Interesting little heads. What do you mean doing? As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.